So you're talking now. You see, I was born in uh, in 1977, and you were born a few years before that, weren't you? Quite a good few years before <laughs> that. <laughs> I was so, born in 1932, July 1932. Yeah, and um, I was born. I was born in Wigan. Born in Wigan. Yeah, mm. and uh, you lived in. Uh, we lived with my grandfather and my grandmother at first. Okay. And that was Tommy McCarty. Yeah. And everybody knew my grandfather in Wigan because he used to be the uh, coach for Wigan Rugby. Yeah. He, did, he did all sorts and everything for people. Yeah. He was in the First World War. Your grandmother was, yeah. And he, uh, he got the sergeant major, company sergeant major he was. Mm hmm In the First World War. Yeah. And he got the DCM, the Distinctive yeah. Conduct Medal, right. for saving, I think it was 18 young fellas. Right. And that was at Gallipoli. Oh, right. Okay. In, uh, yes. I think that was In Turkey. Turkey, that's right. Turkey, Gallipoli. Mm. And uh, they all knew where to go if they wanted any help. Mm. We'll go and ask Tommy. That's Tommy, yeah. Yeah. I know, they were fighting on those cliffs in, in Turkey, trying to get up those cliffs on that uh, battlefield there in the First World War. Mm -hmm. yeah, and this year is the 100th anniversary of the armistice, the end of the First World War. Yeah. That was supposed to be the war that would end all wars. <laughs> but, uh, no, no, not as long as there's wicked men about. No. And wicked women. Yeah. Now, um... You say uh, growing up there with mm. your memories of your early childhood. Yeah. There was um, a poem which your father taught you, wasn't there? Yes, there was. And what was your father's name again? You know, his, what was his Bill name? Bill Disley. Bill Disley. Mm. And that's his name. Well, he taught you this um, this poem, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, called Abu. He worked at uh, Adam. the Wagon Works. Right. In Ince. He was a machine molder, right. whatever that was. Yeah. And it, my granddad said he should never have been accepted into the army anyway because he hadn't got a trigger finger. Right. This first finger on his right hand yeah. was off, half off. Right. So he had to fire with his second finger. Right. And my granddad said he shouldn't have been accepted. Did. Right. So. But, but he still. He, still he, he didn't feel he was doing enough because he was in the. Uh, What's his name as well? He was in the uh, fire, what do they call it? Yeah. The, um... The fire, well, like the reservist for the fire. No, no. The people who put the fire in, what are they called? The firemen. Yeah. He was on the, he was in the fire service part-time. Yeah. And he used to go out, come home and have his tea, and then get changed and go off to uh, the place where the men met who were in the... Volunteer fire service. Right. Interesting. But it wasn't enough. Yeah, he wanted to and do it, something more. He was very tall, you see, my dad. Right. And you could see him a mile off because he'd got this red hair which was wavy and, and it wouldn't lie down, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Couldn't keep a cap on proper. It used to, it used to mm, you know, it's rising up again. <laughs> <laughs> so it was comical, really. Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's what he did. Mm. And there was a doctor involved in my dad going in the army as well. Right. His name was Dr. Swanee Velder. When things were getting a bit sticky in Africa, he decided to go home, Dr. Swanee Velder. Right. And that week, when he was finishing his surgery, yeah. he signed my dad's paper that he wasn't fit to go to. It. So oh. it suited them both, didn't it? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Aye. My dad was in Wigan. Yes. And he saw her and Molly make her, make her uh, communion, her first communion. Right. And I can see him now stood right at the back of the church. And uh, he could see her, Molly, from where he was stood, because, like I say, he was very tall. Mm -hmm. And I could see him from where I was sat in the church. So I can see him, I can still see him when I put my mind to it. Yeah. And uh, it was lovely that day. Yeah. And we'd only four days together. That's all he got, four days. Yeah. In that um, November. 
The uniform. Wow. And they'd been given leave. That's how we got the leave to come home. Wonderful. And uh, of course, he was over the moon when he saw our bill. Oh, yeah. Because my mother couldn't send word because to him that she was, you know, so near her pregnancy because yeah. it, she didn't know address to write to. It's written to her, to her a letter and said, don't write back to this address because I won't be here. We're on the move, but we don't know where we're going. My. Quite difficult, isn't it, when you're from the, with your mother back at home not knowing where he was? That's oh. it. So we were wondering where he was, so we knew where he was. When he come back when home? When he come back home. That was lovely. And it was only for a few days, though. Yeah. Because when the ship got the repairs, they went straight out then from Liverpool. And uh, I remember my dad leaning over the bed and he yeah. was kissing my mother goodbye. Yeah. With the... Uh, with me. He gave me his ring. Did he? Oh, my. And that's his? That's his. It's, it's, it's still his initials on it. Yeah. And he said, no... Keep that till I come back. Yeah. He gave her Molly his watch to mm. take care of. Mm. And I think that was all that he had. Yeah. And he said to my mother, you know, what it, whatever it was he said to her, I don't know what it was he said to her. But then he turned round to me and he said, now I want you to look after your little brother till I come back. Mm. Mm. So I said, I will, Dad, yeah. I will. And I did. Yeah, yeah. Aye. But it uh, didn't come back. No, it didn't. No. So I was looking for him when I went to Italy. Yes. To his grave. I was looking for him. Because me, me and my sister went mm -hmm. uh, through the British Legion. Yeah. They went there. We were looking round, and then Molly kept saying to me, What are you looking for? I said, it's not what I'm looking for. I said, it's who I'm looking for. I said, I think my dad lost his memory. Right. I said, and he wouldn't know where he was. No. But I should have had more sense. I clung on to that. Like, yeah. a, I don't know what. Mm. Mm. Anyway, he, uh, he didn't come back. No, no. And we saw his grave. You did? Yeah. And it's... It's really nice. Yeah, and that's in the Allied Cemetery, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And you know what they've done? I've just found out today. Yes. That what the Italians have done. Mm-hmm. Where that battle was, the big battle that yeah. my dad was killed in, and thousands more. Yes. They built a car industrial place over it. Oh dear, right, right. I suppose they have to use the the land. The land, but they don't need to. Uh, no. But they haven't built on the cemetery. No. No. That's, no. That that's been kept, hasn't it? And that mm. cemetery is at the foot of the. Which place is that called? You can tell me again where that was. It's the uh, the foot of Monte Cassino. That's right. Yeah. And Monte Cassino. I saw it. Yeah. That 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 uh, monastery. It is, hill. yeah. Mm. And it was still. Um, shattered. It, had, it, had, it hadn't been completely repaired by then. No, no. It was too early. No, because no, you, you went in the 1950s, did you? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't built at that time. It only, I it, think it was only rebuilt. It only the had the uh, yeah. remains of it, you know. Mm. And the sun was shining on it. Yeah. But, uh, in a way, I suppose that... You would have thought that it would be a place of, of blessing and healing, but actually it's a place that with many, many thousands. People, yeah, thousands killed. Yes, that battle of uh, That of, battle that my dad was in. Yeah. And you were grandfather. Yes. I mean God looked on your grandfather and blessed him, didn't mm. he? Yes, he I think so. Served him, yes. And uh he he let my dad go. Mm. Yeah. It's God's ways, it's not our ways that matter. Yeah. But the thing is, 
if people don't give over fighting, mm. when they look at back, at what, they, what, have, what have they fought for? Oh, I know. What have they fought for? I know. I know, and a lot of them, they capsized and all sorts in the river. Mm. And it was yeah. freezing icy water oh, too. it was. It was cold that winter because they fought battles in the winter. They did. And they couldn't penetrate. And, it, they, and it, it's interesting, they reckoned it was like, it was like a Passchendaele of the First World War. Mm. It was so bad. It was like trench warfare. It was. In the Second World War. Yeah, except they'd nowhere to hide. No. It was open territory. Yeah, because the Germans were looking down on them from mm. the mountain. And it was a queer thing, the things that my dad used to write in. Cemetery. We walked to, the, they took us to the cemetery where this big uh, pole is. It's, yeah. It's a, a big wide pole and it represents the broken life mm. and uh, of all the soldiers you know yeah. everybody had been killed in that mm. it was a large cemetery yeah massive really massive and then they took us uh, there's quite a few people there to take different groups to where they were going because they didn't tell Go to the same uh, place. Yeah. And uh, I saw my, gra- my dad's grave. Yeah. And it was lovely. Yeah. They're well kept, aren't they? And I think they'd planned it. He was obviously thinking of you all when he was away. Oh, he was. Yeah. He was a proper dad. Mm. No. And I don't know. I know. And when you think about all this, Alan, you know, the things, the memories, I mean, it must have been, you know, you've been living quite a number of years now, over 70 years, as an orphan. Yeah. I mean, was that, how was that then, growing up really, with, with no father then? Awful. Yeah. Because nobody could have took his place, you see. Yeah. We were so attached. Me and our Molly were so attached to my dad. Yeah. I don't think any man could have took his place. No, no. Well, it was you, it was you. Mm. And I suppose really when you think about all this looking back at the war and what the, the remembering about these things, going back many years, but and obviously there's people who died more recently and are still dying today. What do you think about it in the light of, you know, God and man and where we are before God? You know, It's a waste of humanity. Yeah. It is, it's a waste of humanity because there's nobody wins. No. And God didn't put us on this earth to be like that, but the thing is, God knew and he knows now mm. all the future for all of us. Mm. And if we can try and do what God wants us to do, which is impossible for mankind to be like that, mm. but we can only try. Yeah. And the thing is, put yourself in the other fella's place if you can. Mm. What would you do if you, if you had such a thing happen to you? You know, and 